All right, it is toy haul time once again, and this is part three of my clearance haul for this weekend in November. Today is November the 16th, 2015, and over the weekend, I again got sucked into these clearance toys. We got a, we, got, we got Toys R Us, one of the Toys R Us stores had a huge toy sale, uh, a bunch of toys on clearance, and um, I got a lot to show you guys. I got a lot of mashers. Yeah, I know. I just got into mashers, transformers, some Star Wars, some Guardians, a few Marvel fig figures here and there. And uh, all right, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Let's get right to it because this is gonna be a long. I think it's gonna be a longish video. So if you follow me on Instagram or on Twitter, they're both on the FX Friends account. Same. That's me, FX Friends and Chef Patron. If you haven't figured it out, it's the same guy as me. So on my Instagram and. Um, Twitter accounts, they're all on FX Friends. My old FX Friends account is still alive, but I don't post videos there anymore. I post here on my new account, Chefatron. So I've got that cleared out. All right, Mashers. Um, they were on a little bit of a clearance. Some were 30% off, some were 20% off, some were 10% off. So I'm just going to show you guys. All right, let's start with the, the Transformers since I only got two of them. Optimus Prime and Megatron ma uh, mashers. These were like 2013. They were old. They were on uh, like 30% off. So as you can see, from 1,200, they were just down to 700. So 700 is, um, I don't know. It, it's like it's like um, five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, fifteen, sixteen dollars something like that now sixteen dollars that's not so bad from uh something like twenty two dollars it's okay so you know i had to get optimus prime and megatron the others well maybe they can wait uh, but these two I had to get them ahead all right um let's let's do marvel first we'll, we'll do star wars later on all right uh the two mashers that I had to hunt down because I, I picked up several mashers that were on clearance, uh, but these ones were just on like eight percent, no, ten percent off. So I was trying to find them. I always the 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 Bucky cap was a ten twenty percent off, but these were just a few. Uh, the single ones were very very small uh, discount, but I could not find them. Finally found them after eight stores. The uh, Hawkeye and uh, Steve Rogers Captain America figures. That's pretty neat. Um, same with this guy. I only saw him in two stores. The uh, Marvel Now Iron Man. Uh, the 90s Wolverine. Get that. A-bomb. Oh, yeah. Uh, Scar. The only one I'm missing is Red Hulk. I can fight. I should have bought that guy a long time ago. Doctor Doom, you gotta get this guy right. Doctor Doom, let me just raise the camera. Oh yeah. This is the the weird-eyed Spider-Man. I bought this one instead of the one. Well, actually, I do have the other Spider-Man, the first one in a two-pack. But I didn't buy the single. One. I chose this one as a single because this is the one with the webbing on the suit. So yeah, this is this is good. Alright, uh, Ultimate Spidey, you gotta get Miles Morales, definitely. Last of the singles, oh yeah, Agent Venom. Well, that's his, he's changed his suit now, but that was his original. Flash Thompson, Agent Venom suit. Alright, more Marvel on clearance. Trying to build the Avengers. Thor, I didn't get the bearded Thor, this is the one I got. They were both on clearance as well. You gotta get Hulk, right? So I need those Red Hulk. Maybe I'll find it somewhere. And you gotta get Venom. I haven't picked up Carnage though, if you're asking, or the other villains in Spider-Man universe, but because uh, I don't know, I'll wait for that to the price to go down. This wasn't on clearance yet, but it was the last one. I've I went through 11, 12 different stores. It was the only one store had it. Toy Town, Toy Kingdom, Toys R Us did not have it, and this is the one that lights up. Big Iron Man fan. I had to get it for the Tony Stark here. This wasn't on clearance, but... Okay, what the heck. Now, 30% off. Gotta get War Machine, right? Oh, yeah. Gotta get Ultron, right? 
very nice. This is the movie Ultron. And of course, I did also pick up the comic Ultron with the uh, regular classic Iron Man costume. Alright. Last of the Marvel Mashers. Had to pick this one up as well. Doc Ock and the regular Spider-Man. I did not pick up Loki and the Hulk set yet because I wasn't too into it. Uh, as well as the Monger and Iron Man set because, yeah, I just wasn't into it right now. Alright, some Star Wars Mashers, which I picked up at 20 off. They weren't exactly on clearance. They were just a, they were just on a weekend sale discount. Um, but, you know, didn't want to... You want to go through the same thing like what I did with Marvel. Where I missed out on a few figures. Like, you know, I do have I do have Deadpool. I do have Ghost Rider, and I do have Iceman, which the ones I picked up early on. But I, I made sure I didn't let this one pass. Twenty off, Darth Vader. This is a single one. It has a chain and the cape. The one in the two pack with Luke uh, has no cape, and but it has the Force hand. I didn't pick that one up yet. Waiting for that appearance. Stormtroopers. Darth Vader has to have his stormtroopers. I picked up two. Oh, you gotta get Boba Fett. Definitely. All 20% off. Uh, Grievous. This was one I was really interested in. I thought it was the Master's version worked on him. Finally, Darth Maul. Just waiting for a Jedi Luke. Yeah. Maybe a Sabine. That would be great. Alright. So that's the Mashers. I know I'm getting on, but we'll review every single one of them. I know, I know. But uh, we'll see. Some Star Wars. Just one item that was on 10% uh, off. The G.I. Joeified um, Slave One with the uh, five, point of five points of articulation Boba Fett. This is a smaller version, which I think I'm more, more comfortable with. If you've uh, seen my haul videos with the Millennium Falcon, the other Force Friday haul video I, I like the fact that they've gi joeified the size they shrunk the scale it's still okay with 3.75 but it's not an act an accurate scale uh model which is you know it's fine it's like gi joe um <clears throat> i can live with that and at least you'll have the the set with you all right uh ninja turtles just one 20 percent off uh, Dojo Splinter. This was a Splinter I was really interested in and not the original one. The original one was okay, I suppose. But I do love his battle armor, his uh, kendo outfit. So, took a while to track him down. Okay. Uh, let's, let's do some more Marvel. Um, this initi these initially were, I suppose, were supposed to be for gifts. But they were on like ridiculous 70% off. Uh, the Avengers Assemble 3.75 inch figures. Um, Hawkeye. And he was on the he's a peg warmer. These sold out fast. They were like, yeah, 70 off. You gotta pick these guys. Thor from the cartoon. And Hulk. I think this is a repack of the Hulk figure I already reviewed. Um, the Dollar Tree exclusive or, yeah, Hulk. Yeah, but whatever. And this one, I you know, I, I wasn't sure the Marvel Infinite series will have a cane. I know I saw it in one of the packaging as one of the assortments that has yet to come out. But I wasn't sure, but I needed a cane somehow on my shelf, my Spider-Man shelf. And this, again, was at 70% off, so I decided to pick it up, right? Okay. Now, let's do some Guardians. Um... You've already seen this. Alex had already used them as gifts, but I thought I needed to get some more because they were like ridiculously cheap, like 80% off. The Guardians of the Galaxy minifigures. I already showed this in my previous clearance haul video. Uh, yeah, and the reason I picked them up was because I was able to pick up the, the starships that were also on 80% off. The poopy poopy ship. A necrocraft that looks like a doo doo. Uh, it was ridiculously cheap. It's like it's worth like two Hot Wheels cars here in Manila. Oops, there we go with Boba Fett. Um, the uh, Nova Core Star Blaster. I thought this was pretty cool. It's just back then it was so expensive. It was so small. I realized, you know, why would I buy something small and like ridiculously priced? Gotta get Rocket Star. Uh, Warbird, very nice. 
nice. And yep, I did decide to also get the Milano Starship. Again, this was 75% off, 80% off uh, with Star Lord. So I decided to pick it up. All right. And finally, we're going to do some Transformers. Uh, again, some uh, went on 50% off. Uh, these two I already have. I'll probably just keep them MOC. Uh, give them to a friend for Christmas. I don't know, we'll see. This one is the first time I picked it up. I didn't feel the need. I had to pick up Sunder and Rewind because they were just repaints. And, you know, Rewind was part of Blaster's team, but Sunder, I wasn't too sure. But it's got on 50% off, so decided why, why not, right? All right, uh, again, 50% off. The IDW Generations um, Scoop and Armada Starstream. I already have them, but it's nice to always get some stuff on uh, clearance and keep them MOC. Again, more stuff that I'm probably give us MOC because Alex had taken my the Optimus Prime I picked up and to give him to his friends so I decided to pick up uh, Hound and uh, Optimus again because uh, they were already at 30 33% off then they went on 40% off just over the weekend so I said yeah, I get another one uh, this one definitely the most difficult Voyager to find on regular retail and on clearance it's got some banged up packaging but I don't care and uh, last thing on clearance again brainstorm I didn't pick up another one when it was a 33% off I said mm, I don't need another one then when on 40 off I said yeah why not okay all right the last thing I'm gonna show you it's not something that I it, that I got on clearance uh, it's something I got a regular price uh, but one one item one transformers item I was really looking forward to getting I picked it up at Art Toys, and you can probably guess what it is uh, if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, it's not on clearance, I got it at regular price. It's the Masterpiece 25, MP25, who is Trax. And this, this figure, this character, has a lot of sentimental value. My very, very first Transformer figure was actually a G1 Trax. That was it. I carried it all the time. Transform. I had a great transformation. And uh, here's the collector coin. Yeah, I will definitely do a review of this one simply because of the sentimental value. And yeah, it is a masterpiece. And I'm sure a lot of you are dying to find out what I think about the figure. So there you go, folks. That's my third installment of my uh, clearance toy haul for the month of November. Hope you've enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.